Every year, up to 2,000 people in the U.S. and Canada die from anaphylaxis, a serious allergic reaction. The most common causes are allergies to peanuts, insect bites, and seafood. But not all anaphylactic reactions are severe. They can be mild, with subtler symptoms. And most people don't know that if you've had a mild reaction in the past, you're at risk of having a life-threatening one in the future. More from Mayo Clinic on a new anaphylaxis awareness campaign. John Lindy's reaction came on fast. I started to feel a little dizzy. It was becoming very, very difficult for me to breathe. John remembers reaching for the phone to call for help. When help arrived, he was in big trouble. I was uh, collapsed and unconscious on my kitchen floor, uh, having turned a, a, a shade of blue. John's episode was likely triggered by peanuts. He's been allergic since childhood, but symptoms had always been mild. Nausea, hives, and flushing. So those who've had a mild allergic reaction to a food substance or an insect sting at one point can have an anaphylactic reaction unpredictably in the future. Dr. Wyatt Decker says anaphylaxis happens when your immune system identifies a substance such as peanuts as foreign. This triggers cells called mast cells to release chemicals that cause many symptoms, including dilated blood vessels, low blood pressure, flushing, constricted airways, intestinal problems, and even death. But an injection of epinephrine from an auto-injector can reverse symptoms and save your life. Pull off the cap, and you hold it to your thigh, and you inject it, and then you hold it in there for 10 seconds. Dr. Ronna Campbell and Dr. Decker have teamed up with other health organizations to teach people about anaphylaxis. It's called the Be Safe Campaign. S means seek support, call 911. A stands for allergen, try to identify what caused your reaction. F is for follow-up, see your doctor afterwards. And E is for epinephrine, the medication John carries with him in case a severe reaction happens again. Dr. Decker says if you have an anaphylactic reaction, it is vitally important to seek emergency medical care. That's because sometimes symptoms can get worse or even recur within 24 to 48 hours. It's also important to talk to your doctor after an allergic reaction to see if you should be carrying an epinephrine auto-injector. The team of experts spearheading this campaign includes members of the American College of Emergency Physicians and the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. The Food and Allergy and Anaphylactic Network is a great source for interested patients or family members. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.